Welcome to the older and wiser and wonderful workout. My name is Sue Grand and I'm so happy you're here with us today. Now, if you've watched any of the other older and wiser workout videos, you'll happy to see Ellie with us again. You met Eve, our wild child, in our previous video, the older and much wiser workout. Eve has been busy conquering breast cancer with her usual pizzazz. Her recovery has been swift and enthusiastic. So our dear friend Cherie will be joining us today. Cherie has been dancing, I think, pretty much since the day she was born. So she's gonna be adding a wonderful dancer's spirit to the workout. Now, Ellie and Cherie are crucial to these videos because they enable you to customize the workout so it's just right for you, depending on whom you follow in each section. I'll be showing you the sort of standard version of each exercise. Cherie is going to be adding style and flair to everything we do, so stick with her if you want a little extra challenge or some more zest. Ellie's going to be demonstrating the easiest modification, so keep an eye on her if you want to lighten up a bit. Ellie's going to be standing next to a chair just for a little bit extra support and stability, so feel free to pull a chair up for yourself if that sounds like a good idea for you today. Now you're going to notice that we're going to do every single exercise and every single stretch in three different directions. We'll be moving forward and back and side to side and rotating a lot. This is because in real life you also need to move in all these different directions. So it just kind of makes sense to practice this when you're exercising. That way when you need to move in an unexpected way in your everyday life, your body is going to say, been there, done that, no problem, I got this. To be honest, every single thing we do in this video is based on something called Applied Functional Science, which was created by a genius, and I do mean genius, named Gary Gray. I am profoundly grateful to both Gary and his brilliant buddy, Mike Van Gilder, for helping me to design this video so that it's just right for you. You'll be happy to know that even when it looks like we're just goofing around and being silly, which you may think that when we're doing some of the imaginary scenarios in the cardio section, everything we do is based on sound scientific biomechanics. Now there are three different sections to this video. There's the low impact aerobics, the strength and balance, and the stretch. You're welcome to tackle the entire video all in one whack, but feel free to mix and match the sections depending on how much time you have and how you're feeling each day. Whatever you do, try to end with a stretch. I tell you, these applied functional science stretches are probably the best thing you can do to prevent future injuries, and they just make you feel great. Now you're gonna notice that there are two different levels to this video, level three and level four. This is to help you progress at your own pace. I recommend you start with level three and then move up to level four when you feel ready. All right, enough chatter, let's get started. Get moving. We're going to warm up today from top to bottom. Starting off with your shoulders going forward and back. Good. Everything nice and easy to get started here. Take your arms in and out. Little cross in front. If you can, try to cross a different arm in front each time. But it doesn't really matter that much. A couple more like this. Good. Coming next is one of my favorites. Roll both shoulders back, please. Now you can roll your shoulders a little more slowly or a little more quickly. Same thing for the rest of the workout. Go at your own pace. Do what feels just right for you today. Couple more here. Now one at a time. Start on the left. There you go. Very nice. We'll do a few more like this and then we're gonna warm up our hands and our wrists. Just two more. Let's take your hands forward and back. Very good. Two more at this slow pace. Same thing, go a little faster, please. You got this. Good, couple more. Let's go side to side now. Go to the side. Again, just a couple more at this slower pace. Good, a little faster. Very nice. All right, coming next, one of my favorites. Seems like everything's my favorite. I know I love this stuff. Circle your wrists. If you've got any arthritis in your hands or your fingers, this is so good for those joints. Same thing, reverse it, go the other way. 
see if you can get your fingers into the act. All right, let's warm up the lower back going forward and back. Nice, this should feel really good on your lower back. Good, couple more like this. Nice, two more forward and back. Now go side to side, side to side. It's fine if that heel comes up, if that hip lifts. Good, getting those hips mobilized a little bit. Good, two more here. All right, here comes a good one. Rotate your hips in a little circle. Again, you can go big or small. You can go a little faster, a little slower. But let's all go the other way. Good, this should feel really good on that low back region. Let's move down again. Take your knees forward. Kind of stick your fanny back a little bit, warming up those lower body muscles. Good, two more like this. Actually, that's not true. Now two more like this. Here we go, side to side. With your knees, side to side. Very good. If those feet roll a little bit with this, that's fine, that's normal. Feeling those lower body muscles getting nice and warmed up. A few more. Now take your knees in a little circle. Again, big or small, slow or fast, it doesn't matter. As long as you're moving, you win. Go the other way. Great. All right. Moving down one more time. Tap your left toe up and down to start. Standing up nice and tall. Very nice. Same thing side to side. Now, if you want to touch your hand on the back of the chair for the next one, that might be a good idea because you're going to lift up your heel and circle. Oh, doesn't that feel good, Ellie? You could do this for the entire video, it would be fine. Go the other way. Getting all those creaks out of the ankle. All right, this foot's saying, my turn. Let's go, tap it up and down. Very good. Ah, love this stuff. Side to side. Again, for this next one, you might want to have a hand on the back of the chair, because you're kind of standing on one leg here. A little bit of a balance challenge. Lift up that heel. Ah, creak and crack. Very good, getting the twinges out of those hinges. All right, feeling good so far. Let's feel even better. Take both arms, swing them back and back and forward. Nice, easy motion. Now we're gonna be swinging our arms a lot in this video. So again, we'll do a little mini version, a little sneak preview during this warm up. Take both arms side to side, please, side. Ah, this just feels joyous. I am so glad you're working out with us today. It feels so good to move. Just a few more like this. Now keep swinging, but kind of go a little higher. About chest type, a little easier if your arms are bent. A little more challenging with arms straight. So again, do what you feel like doing today. We're gonna do the same thing here but now reach to the opposite corner, please. Reach, oh, now we're talking. This is great, you can feel your shoulder blades kind of moving on your upper spine. Really good for injury prevention. A few more like this. Now swing both arms forward and back. Ah, doesn't that feel great, Cherie? Yeah. I tell you, I picked the best backup babes on the planet. We are having so much fun. A couple more, you'll hold both arms in front. Both arms in front, now cross low. Again, see if you can have a different arm cross in front each time. Very good. Couple more like this. Nice, nice, easy movements. Do the same thing. Bring your arms up a little higher, please. Open up your chest. Ah, this is a life is, life is good move. A few more like that. Very nice. Two more, and march in place. Here we go. We're gonna do a series of mambo steps now in different directions. We'll start off front and back, and then go to the side, and then we'll rotate. We'll get our feet figured out first, and then we'll add some arms. Left foot goes forward and back. Good, so just getting the feet kind of wired here at this point. We're starting off to the front. In about three more, you'll take your left foot out to the side. 
Let's try that. Left foot goes to the side. Now at this point, your foot is pointing straight ahead. In about four more like this, you're gonna put your foot in the same place, but you're gonna point it towards that side wall. Let's give that a shot. Here we go, side. Very nice, getting some beautiful rotation in your hips here. If you don't wanna rotate quite as much, you can follow Ellie, do a little less. I mean it, if you're moving, you're grooving. Now, left foot to the front. Now the fun begins. Add those arms, swing it along, going the same way as your foot. Oh boy, I love this stuff. Two more, we'll go to the side. Go to the side, here we go. Now again, you can make these big, you can make them small. Woo, look at Cherie. The gal's on fire, looking great. Two more and then we'll rotate. Here we go, rotate. Arms go along for the ride, very good. Moving in all three directions, just like you do in real life. Having a great time doing so. In two more, we're gonna change feet. Now take this leg forward, forward. That's it, whoops, can't do the arms yet. It's so tempting, isn't it? It's way too fun. Couple more with no arms. Good, and two more, we'll take that right foot to the side. Here we go, right foot, go side and back. Nice. We'll try to keep things more or less even in this video. Few more here. Good, get ready to rotate your foot to the side angle. Side, here we go. Nice. Very good. Again, really good to get these hips rotating. Just do as much as feels great for you today. In two more, we're going to the front. To the front, let's take the party forward. Very nice. Nice and big. We are definitely warmed up now, so you can make the movements a little bigger if that feels like a good idea. Two more, we'll go to the side. To the side, you know the program by now. Good. Ah, life is good when you're moving, huh? So happy you joined us. Good, and two more. We'll do that rotational mambo one more time. Let's go for it. Rotate and back. Ha ha. Very good. In four more, we're gonna change it. We're gonna keep our feet wide and just shift your weight from right to left. Shift your weight right, left, and left. Remember those arm swings we did at the beginning? Ooh, we're gonna do them big now. In two more, Cherie and I are gonna hold our arms overhead. Ellie will keep hers low. Let's try it. Overhead. Now this is a real workout. If this is too tiring with your arms over your head, follow Ellie. She's looking more wise and more wonderful by the minute. In two more, we'll put all of our arms in front of our shoulders. There you go. Again, ease your arms bent. Whoa, a lot tougher arms straight. Pick whatever feels great for you. Good, in two more, we're just gonna march in place. This leg. Now, do you remember those mambo steps we did just recently? We're gonna do the same mambo steps, but this time our arms are gonna swing in the opposite direction that our leg is going. Good luck, we need it too. This leg forward. So get your foot going first, and then there's some hope of getting the arms figured out. This one took us a long time to figure out, so if you don't get it perfectly the first time at home, it's okay. Right foot to the side, arms go the opposite way. In fact, through this entire workout, if you ever do something that's a little different than we're doing, it's completely fine. As long as you're moving, you're getting the benefits. Let's do that rotation. I think this one's kind of cool, though, when your arms go the opposite way of that mambo leg when you're rotating. We'll do a few more like this, and then we'll change feet. We'll take that left leg forward. Let's give it a go, left leg forward. Arms go the other way. Very good. Ah, we are on, on it today. Good, and two more, we'll take that left foot to the side. Left foot to the side. I had to think about it too. Which way do my arms go? We're all having a great time. A 
few more like this. Then we'll do that rotation. Good, rotate. Have that foot point out to the side wall. Excellent. You are doing so much good for your body, mind, and spirit right now, right here. In two more, you're gonna step and lift your knee. Step and lift your knee. Now slice your arms, kind of like you're slicing through a big block of ice. That's it. This is a workout. We're burning calories, strengthening our heart and lungs. Both arms up for Cherie and me. Ellie's gonna keep her arms low. Isn't this workout great? You can make it just right for you, depending on whom you follow. Woo! We're working here, and I love it. Take both arms in front of your chest, please, everyone. Good. Excellent. I hope you're feeling just great right now. We'll do a few more like this. Very nice. Two more. And march in place. We've had a good time pretty much staying in place so far. Now we're gonna move across the room. We'll go side to side, forward and back. Then I've got a fun surprise for you at the end of this section. Step touch to the side. We're doing singles now. Now we're gonna change this. Take two steps to the side. Good. Do the same thing, but lift one knee at each end. So far, so good. All right, now we're really gonna up the ante. Instead of lifting just one knee at each end, we're gonna try lifting three alternating knees at each end. Oh, baby, you ready, Ellie? Ready. She's ready, let's go. Two steps, three alternating knees here. Good, you got it? Three knees, very good. All right, if you've mastered this, and that's quite a bit to master, you can add these arm movements. They're a doozy, watch this. Eats up and up, oh joy. Good, again. Yeehaw! Again, three knees. Good, one more. Now march in place. There you go. Next, we're gonna have you walk forward three steps, one knee lift. Let's give that a go. Three, two, one. Do the same thing, but instead of one knee lift, you guessed it. Three knees, go. Three knees here. Up, up, and come back. Three knees. Good. One more time with no arms, just to make sure we have this figured out. All right, if you're feeling brave, add these arm movements. Up, and up, woo-hoo. It's a workout, I tell ya. One more time, forward and back. Now when you get back in place, you're gonna do a step knee lift in a figure eight. Go this way, Cherie and I are gonna skip. Ellie's gonna do a much more sedate and civilized step knee. Go the other way. I hope your neighbors are looking in on you, wondering what's going on in there? March in place. There you go. Let's put all these elements together. We'll go side to side, forward and back, and do the little skip. We'll do three knee lifts at each end. Ready, Cherie? I knew she'd say that. Two steps, go. Three knees here. Good. And back. Great. Let's go one more side to side. Good. Get ready to go forward. Forward, go. Three knees. Woo, that's it. Good. One more time. When you get back in place, you can either do a step knee or skip for joy. Go this way. It's up and up. Ah, life is good when you're moving, isn't it? Other way, please. Let's do that same thing one more time, just because it's so much fun. Get ready to take two steps. Two steps, go. Three knees, please. Yeehaw. One more time, side to side. Doing great. All right, you know the program, right? Go forward, let's have it. Have a blast. Good, come back, three knees. One more time, forward and back. Good, coming back, ready to skip. Skip or step knee, last time. 
Nice. Oh, look at Cherie go. We're having a blast here. I'm hoping you're having a good time at home. One more. Very nice. And march in place. That was so fun, moving in all different directions. Now, we're gonna do a number of sort of imaginary scenarios. The point of these scenarios isn't to do the moves exactly right. It's just to get us moving in different directions and having some fun with it. If you'd like to join us in the chair for part of this workout, that's completely fine. All right, widen your feet, please. Now we're gonna start off today pretending that you're back in gym class. Do this with your arms. Good, now remember gym class, they had that rope attached to the ceiling? You were supposed to climb to the top of the rope now, I don't know about you, but I always found that just downright impossible. But today, you're in eighth grade again. One of the most awkward years, right? And you can climb the rope. So all of your friends are on the gym floor. They're all staring up at you just in awe. All the people that you admire most are just standing on the floor saying, wow, that person is so strong. How do they do it? And you're saying, yeah, I got it going just loving life. But then the gym teacher comes in and he notices all the students are just standing around watching you. So he gets a little huffy and he says, all right kids, jumping jacks. So everyone does jumping jacks. Now you can make your arms big or a little smaller like Ellie. This was in the bad old days when they used exercise as punishment, right? These days we do it for fun. So keep doing your jacks. You're sliding down the rope, gracefully and gradually coming down. Now the English teacher comes in the side door of the gym. She's one of those really cool gym teachers. She genuinely likes the kids, and they all really like her too. And they, she sees them working so hard. She says, these kids need a little break. So she turns off the light in the gym Everyone takes off their shoes and they do a little sock hop. Yeah, I know I'm dating myself, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So you're doing the twist. Now remember, this is eighth grade. The person that you've had a crush on all year comes over and you think that they've just not even known who you were, didn't know you existed, and they start dancing with you. So you're really busting your moves. Oh, having such a good time. But then the football coach comes in and he gets serious. He wants everyone to prepare for the next football game. So he says, fast feet. You're doing fast feet. Very good. And march in place. That was fun. Our next scenario, we're gonna pretend like you're part of a steam engine, the old-fashioned locomotion. I know, where do I get these ideas? Who knows? Start with your feet, step and lift your heel. Now I want your arms to go forward and back. You know those rods on the train that connect the wheels? Well, your arms are those wheels. Now obviously, an old-fashioned steam engine locomotive is really heavy, so your arms have to really pump forward and back to move those wheels. So you're chug, chug, chugging along the Mist Western Plains, somewhere, I don't know, in Kansas. Everything's just fine, but then a thunder cloud comes overhead. All of a sudden, there's a crash of thunder, a flash of lightning, a deluge of rain is pouring. The engineer's getting a little concerned. Can't see anything out of that windshield. So he's got to turn on the windshield wipers. Let's try that. So these are the kind of wipers that go together. Now you can make your wipers high or a little lower like Ellie is. Again, follow the person that you feel like following. All right, so far so good. Engineer's happy because you can actually see through the windshield, but then he realizes, oh my gosh, we're running out of coal. So we're gonna get our shovels and shovel the coal into the bin so we don't run out of fuel. Let's get your shovel. Keep your feet on the ground while you're shoveling. Now obviously, 
We're just pretending to shovel. You don't have to do these exercises perfectly, but we sure are rotating and moving your body in such great ways. Let's do two more shovels. Good, and just step touch. Side to side. All righty, next. Your hands are gonna be those rods that connect the wheels, but for some unexplained reason, they're alternating, they're reciprocating this time. But again, remember, those locomotives are hugely powerful, really strong, so you really gotta take those arms forward and back as much as you can. Now we're still in the Midwest, and you know, if you don't like the weather, what do you do, right? You wait 15 minutes, so another huge cloud comes over. This time it's not only rain though, it's sleet and a hailstorm. They're as big as golf balls. We need those windshield wipers big time. Here we go, let's cross. That's right. Now you can make your wipers big or small. So far so good, but you guessed it. We ran out of coal again. Let's shovel on the other side. Get your shovel, keep your feet on the ground as you rotate. Very good. Good, keep shoveling. Coal is heavy. Really dig in. Let your whole body work together just like it does in real life. Two more like this. Good. Very nice, that was fun. Just step touch side to side. Very good. Our next imaginary scenario, you're gonna love this one. We're pretending like we're on the movie set of the Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid movie. Now, if you haven't seen that movie, I recommend you rent it, it's really fun. So first thing you're gonna do is pretend like your hands are your guns. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid are galloping up on their horses with their guns blazing they're gonna rob the train, right? But remember, this is just a movie set, so the guns are fake. It's all just pretend. The guns are going everywhere, though. Now, the conductor of the train is obviously very alarmed. This is before the days of cell phones, so he can't call 911. The only way he can call for help is to wave his arms way overhead. So let's wave our arms. So he's going SOS. Well, it's really not SOS, right? It's save our train, so maybe SOT. Anyway, you're waving your arms big. You can wave them a little smaller like Ellie is. Calling for help. So he sees the cavalry off in the distance, way in the horizon. They see his SOS or SOT. They come galloping up and then a massive fist fight ensues. Remember, it's all just pretend. So let's throw a hook. Ha, good, really rotate your body. Let your hips go. Very good. Let's do an uppercut. All the blood is fake, it's just those little packets of red liquid. So you're really punching for all it's worth. Let's do a hook again. Great. And uppercut. Very good. One more set of hooks. Good. And uppercut. Very nice. And step touch, left, right. That was fun. Moral of the story, good guys win, bad guys promise never to do it again. Our next imaginary scenario. You're in a circus. It's a really high class, really great circus. You're gonna start off doing a little heel touch in front. Now to start off, you're the juggler. But you're not any ordinary run-of-the-mill juggler. No sorry, Bob. You've got about 15 balls in the air. They're all different sizes, some are lit up. The crowd is just saying, wow, I've never seen a juggler like this before. And you're so confident because you've been working at this for decades. You really love your life. But then we're gonna move up to the guy selling programs. He's having a little tougher time. Take your feet side to side. So he's waving his programs in the air trying his darndest to sell them. He's saying, get your programs here. But no one's buying them. He's on commission sale, so he's a little worried. Now you can wave your arms a little lower like Ellie is, or high like Sheree and I are. Do your own pace. Just be glad you're not the guy trying to sell programs, right? Couple more here. 
All right, now you're a lion tamer. Take your whip and crack it. Ha! Good. Now, in reality, you actually have a really loving relationship with these lions and tigers. You just do this whip cracking stuff for show to impress the crowds, which you have to do because you're going to be putting your head in the lion or tiger's mouth in a moment. Now, step touch side to side. All right, we're going to be a juggler again. We're going to take it up a notch, though. Watch Cherie and me. We're going to do a little kick. Oh my gosh. Now you're juggling those balls and they're bouncing off your feet as well. Notice Ellie's being wise and wonderful. She's just doing a step heel. Whatever you do is a-okay. I hope you're having as much fun as we are at home. So you're still juggling. We gotta catch up with that program guy though. I feel kind of bad. We left him in the lurch. Take your feet side to side. Now he tries a new technique. He's waving his arms, crisscrossing. Oh my gosh, it's working. They're selling. People are buying those programs. He doesn't have any left. So now we're gonna be a lion tamer one more time. Whip goes in the other hand, crack. Good, really crack it. Very good. So the grand finale for the lions and tigers is they're gonna jump through the fiery hoop. So you really got to get, it, get their attention. We'll do two more cracks. Ha! Good, and just relax. Step touch side to side. Very nice, that was fun. I hope you're having a great time at home. If you wanna take a little sip of water, now would be a good time. Our next scenario, it's winter. You're standing outside of this frozen pond. It's a beautiful day but you're not sure the ice is thick enough to really step on. So you're gonna take a little step forward, forward. So you're taking a little tentative step. Is it really thick enough to hold my weight? Careful, not too much. It's feeling pretty good though. Let's try going faster. Here we go, a little faster. So what are we doing? Yes, we're doing cardio. We're really improving your agility. You have to be able to move your feet quickly if you lose your balance. This is such a great workout. All right, so you're doing great on the ice. It feels nice and thick as you do your agility work on the side. It's a beautiful day though, and now that you know the ice is this thick, you're gonna put on your ice skates, and you guessed it. Let's go ice skating, go to side. Now you can make your skates nice and civilized like Ellie. Gosh, she's great. Or what's Cherie doing? Ah, she makes everything look good, again. So it's a bright sunny day. The sky is as blue as you've ever seen it. Sun is shining, there's snow all around the lake. So it's just sparkling and brilliance. Having the best time. But then you realize they're doing half off for the ski lift tickets. Let's go skiing. Plant your poles and turn your feet. That's it. Now check out Cherie, oh my gosh. She's skiing the moguls. You can try this if you have a carpet, uh, you have a tile floor or a wood floor. I wouldn't do what Cherie's doing on a carpet. But she's amazing, isn't she? Good, keep going. Nice. All right, all of a sudden though, you just got cold. Shiver, burr. <laughs> which is all too true, right? <laughs> and step touch, this side. All right, we're going back to the pond. Now it's nighttime. Take a tentative step. You're on the other side of the pond though. Again, are you sure that ice is thick enough? I'm not sure. Let's take a little ginger step forward. Good, this is really good for fall prevention, by the way. Let's go faster, here we go. Faster, good. All right, it's looking good. Ice is feeling pretty thick, but you're enjoying this so much. You're gonna do this for a little bit more. You're getting those leg muscles so strong. Now you can make your steps small. Check out Ellie, she's so great. Or oh, wow, Cherie's really moving. It's time to go ice skating though. Can you think of anything more fun than skating at night? Let's skate side to side. Decide. Again, big or small, you can go a little more slowly than we are. 
you're having the best time. The sky is just inky black because there's no outdoor lights anywhere around. You're out in the middle of the country. The stars are just dazzling. It's like you can reach up and touch them, having the greatest time moving. But then you get a text on your cell phone, free night skiing for locals at the ski resort. Let's go skiing. Plant your poles, turn your feet. Good. Again, you don't have to do the moguls like our wild woman back there is. Whatever you do is just great. Let's do two more like this. Plant your poles and turn your feet. Good. Last one. Good, march in place. Very nice. I hope you're warmed up from all that winter scene. Next, we're gonna step touch side to side. Let's try that. It's springtime. You're on a girls softball team. Gentlemen, you're just gonna have to bear with us here. You're gonna pitch. Now you are on your game today, this pitcher. Again, obviously, I'm not an expert slow pitcher. It doesn't matter if you aren't either. But we're gonna make a catch with our other hand. Reach, ah, so pop fly. You've really got to stretch to make this catch. Come on, everyone's watching you in the stands. Ah, good news. You caught it. Pick up your bat and bat. Maybe a single, maybe a double. Very good, swinging, getting a lot of nice rotation. Now we're gonna to try to catch a grounder in a moment. Catch a grounder on this side. Good, and other side. Very nice. Now when you catch a grounder like this, stick your fanny back behind you. That'll protect your back and strengthen your legs. Good, step touch this side, please. All right, same thing. Ambidextrous athletes, right? We do everything on each side. So take your step touch a little more forward and back. We're gonna do that slow pitch with this arm. Here we go. Pitch, ha. Good, you are so on your game. Every pitch is a strike. No one can hit your fabulous pitches. So that would mean it's time to catch. Catch with this hand, go. Ah. Good, really reaching. So satisfying when you have to really run for that ball and you make that catch. You did. The inning is out. You get to bat. Here we go. All right, let's go for a double maybe. All right, let's make it a triple. Okay, bases are loaded. Two outs. Do that grand slam. Ha! Good, catch a grounder, go. Other side. Now when you catch a grounder, don't have your foot right in front of the other one. Off to the side a little bit. Bend in your legs. Very good. We've got a lot of grounders to catch. Let's do two more. Good. And march this leg. Very nice. Hope you liked the softball scenario. It's summertime, a beautiful summer day. It's early morning, so it's not too hot. You know that smell when you go outside in the summer? Oh, it's the best ever. Let's go step touch to the side. So, your job is to mow the lawn today. Take your step touch forward and back a little bit. So first thing you gotta do, right, is start up that lawn mower. Here we go. Give it a tug. It's forward and back. Now, I don't know why those lawn mowers never seem to start on the first pull, right? I remember a lot of swearing from my father back in the day. <laughs> and step touch to the side. Next, this arm is one of those oscillating sprinklers. Do you know the kind I'm talking about? The water sprays overhead. We're from Southern California, so we can't use these kind of sprinklers. We just use drip systems. But I remember as a child, we had this sprinkler. My mother called it Creepy Crawly because it crept down the lawn. So that's this sprinkler going overhead. All right, now we've got to put some compost into our garden though. So get your shovel and dig 
in the wheelbarrow. So this compost is that big black loamy soil. Smells so good. You've done so well with gardening. So the weeds are coming up. Let's pull a weed. Good, now really pull it out by the roots. I tell you, is there anything more satisfying than pulling a weed out by the roots? I don't think so. Let's go step touch this side. All right, big surprise. We've got a lawnmower with two cords on it, right? Now we've got to start on the other side. We mowed half the lawn. Now we took a little break. We're gonna mow the other half of the lawn. Here we go, let's pull it forward. Ah, oh, give it a pull. Very good. Why don't they just have start buttons on lawnmowers? I never figured that out. Anyway, it's good exercise. Ready for the sprinkler. Other hand, get that sprinkler going. Good, waving nice and big if you want, or a little smaller like Ellie is. It's all good, as long as you're moving. I tell you, you win. All right, let's get the shovel on the other side. Dig, ah, dig. Good, beautiful, dark, black, loamy compost. Your garden is so gonna love this. Very good, but now more weeds have come up. You knew that would happen, right? Let's weed. Other side, good. That's really pull them out. My neighbor says, the more you care, the more they come about weeds. I think she's got a point. Let's do two more on each side. Rip. Good. One more each side, please. Our next imaginary scenario. You're part of a world famous symphony orchestra. People come from all over the world to hear you. First thing, you're gonna be a trombone player. So, ah, take your arm back. Now, Cherie and I have our arms going up as our trombone shoots up into the air. Ellie's being a little more conservative, keeping her trombone horizontal. When Cherie and I take our trombones up, it's strengthening these stomach muscles in a real functional, practical way. I love that part. But we're gonna move on from the trombone. Let's play the violin. So, bow hands going side to side. Good carrying the melody of the orchestra. Second violin's adding a beautiful harmony. Viola's adding a nice, rich tone. Now come the fun part. We get to conduct. That's it. So this conductor is just so wonderful to play for. He gets all the musicians so inspired. Everyone loves being a part of this group. Let's play the trombone again, though, of course. You guessed it. Got to do everything each side, right? Again, let that trombone go up if you want. But if that doesn't feel like a good idea, follow my great, wonderful backup, Babe Ellie. Let's do a few more like this. Good. Trombones, beautiful, crisp, clear sounds. Blasting out. The audience is just so impressed. It sounds so great. But let's play the violin. Now the other arm, side to side with the bow arm. That's it. Everyone's in tune. Everyone's on their game. Music is magic, I tell ya. Couple more like this. All right, last time we get to conduct. Now it's the grand finale. The conductor is really inspiring all the musicians. Very good. The crowd is on their feet. They're giving a standing ovation. So the conductor's blowing kisses. Ah, ah. Good, one more each side. Good, step touch. Congratulations. You finished the main cardio section. Well done. Now we're gonna cool down gently. Stand on the right side of your chair. We're gonna take it down slowly. Take a little step and bowl with your right hand and come back, good. And bowl. Yes, we're cooling down. We're also doing beautiful fall prevention work. You need to do this in real life, right? All right, bear with me here. You're in a gymnasium. You know those rings that the male gymnasts use? I'm pretty sure this is called the Iron Cross. Aren't you so amazed at how strong those men are? But from the gym, we're going fly fishing. Who knew? 
go forward. And back. Good. Now to catch a fish on a fly, you've got to make that little fake fly go right in front of the fish. So really rotate and cast. From this, we're going to go on a crew boat. You're on the Charles River. If you're standing next to a chair, stand on the other side of the chair as you row your crew boat. Beautiful day on the Charles River. All right, we're going to bowl again. Bowl again. Other side. Bowl. And come back. Beautiful fall prevention work here. Again, you can have a hand on the chair if you need. Very good. All right, now it's the Olympics for that iron cross. Arms go out to the side. Out and come down. Very nice. So strong. So fit. Good. One more, and then we'll go fly fishing with the other arm. Fly fishing, go back and forward. Back. Good. Nice. A few more here. Good. Very nice. Two more. And march in place. One more little cool down, just to make sure you're safely cool down. You're gonna stand on your right leg. Your left toe is gonna tap in front. Here we go, tap your toe. It's front. And front. Good, two more here. Take your foot to the side. Sun, very nice. Cooling down gently, making sure you're all the way relaxed and cooled down. Rotate your foot. You never wanna just stop after you've been working out so hard. And boy, were we working out hard. Right foot to the front. Easy does it. I don't care what you do with your arms. Just let them move however you want. Right foot to the side. Your heart rate should be coming down now. I hope you're feeling just great. Last one, right foot rotates. Up, you go. Good, just a couple more. Nice, march in place, nice and easy. Congratulations, you completed the cardio section. You should be really proud of yourselves. Now you've got a choice. You can either go straight to the strength and balance or to the stretch. Whatever you do, put the TV on pause, get a little sip of water, and congratulate yourself for a job well done. Welcome to the strength and balance portion of our workout. For this section, you're gonna need a sturdy chair with no arms. You're also gonna need a pair of weights. You can either use four or five or six pound weights, but I recommend that you gradually increase the weights that you use as you get stronger and stronger. Now we're gonna be doing the same wonderful exercises for level three and level four, but we'll be doing more repetitions and using heavier weights for level four. So with that in mind, you can follow Ellie. She'll be showing you the level three variations, and Sheree and I will be doing level four. All right, let's get started. Pick up your weights, if you would, please. You're gonna start with your feet about hip width apart. Now just bring your fist to your shoulder. Go up and up. Arms go straight at the bottom. Letting your knees just kind of bend in the rhythm naturally. Very good. Training your neuromuscular system, your nerves and your muscles to move better. Keep swinging your arms, but swing behind you a little bit. Good, we're not isolating any muscles. Training your whole body all at once. So great. A couple more like this. All right, let's all take a little break. Level three, Ellie. Put your foot in front of you, keep it there, but don't be standing on a tightrope. Level four, take that same foot and tap it forward and back. All right, join us as we Swing both arms. Now you're swinging a full range of motion. Very nice. Boy, this is a multitasking exercise, isn't it? There are so many muscles we're strengthening here. Level three, you can take a little break. Level four, let's just see if we can do a few more. Woo! That's plenty of those. Let's all stand on the other side of the chair. Feet are about hip width. We'll do those same exercises on the other side. Bring your fist to your shoulder. There you go. Good. You're gonna be so strong. This level three and four is a lot tougher workout. 
So if you need to take a break at any time, completely okay. Keep swinging your arms. Now you're swinging behind you. Excellent. Good, just a few more like this. Woo, it's a workout. These heavier weights make a big difference, don't they? All right, take a little breather. Same thing, put this foot forward, but don't have it right in front of the other foot. Too much of a balance challenge. Level three, you'll keep your foot there. You ready, Cherie? We'll go forward and back. All right, arms swing, full range of motion, all the way forward, all the way back. Woo, this is a doozy. Starts off easy. You can really feel it working. Very good. Level three, time out for you. Level four, we'll just do a few more. Woo, I think that's plenty. Let's all stand in front of our chair. You're gonna take your arm and bring it a little bit behind you. Do a little small one first, a little behind you. Make sure your body's happy with that idea. Ellie's not gonna bring her arm so far behind. Cherie and I are gonna go way as far back as we can. This is really strengthening your stomach muscles as they work hard to decelerate this motion, slow it down. Very nice. Ooh, baby. Level three, you can stop for a moment. Cherie, let's just do a couple more. Oh yeah. Very good, all righty. Everyone take a break, roll your shoulders. We're gonna stand up and sit down now. Gonna ask you to put this foot forward. Cherie and I are gonna put our weights on our shoulders. Ellie's gonna keep her hands at her sides. Have a seat here. Now it's okay if you wanna push off with your hands off your thighs, or you can just keep them hanging at your sides. See if you can go even more slowly as you sit down. Oh, this is a real I mean it workout. Have a seat, stick your fanny way back out behind you. Pretend that you've got that diamond necklace or maybe a really fancy bow tie. You want everyone to see it, so keep your chest facing towards the front wall. Level three, you've just got one more here. Ooh, level three, you can take a well-deserved break. Level four, we're gonna shoot for two more. These are harder than they look. These weights make a big difference, you're doing great. One more for level four, very good. All right, everyone, stand up. Stand on the side of your chair, please. You're gonna step forward with this foot. If you wanna use your weights, you can. It makes it a lot more challenging. Watch the different arm variations you can use. I'm doing a row. Cherie's taking her arms over her head. Again, strengthening those stomach muscles. Ellie's keeping her hands at her sides. Follow the person you feel like following today. We're gonna do a number of these. If it feels like you need to take a break and you've had enough at any moment, completely fine, get a little sip of water. All right, level three, you're done with these forward lunges. Level four, we'll just do a few more. Good, reaching forward, strengthening your backside big time as you step forward. Very nice. Just one more, please. Okie dokie. Put your weights on the seat of the chair, please. I'm gonna have you step forward with this foot. We're gonna do that reaching exercise. Try to have some width between your feet. Reach about chest height to start, so you're in that magic bubble. But you're trying to pop the bubble. Reach down a little lower. The farther you reach on these exercises, the more benefits you get. Great, gradually work your way back up to chest height. Very nice. As we get older, we tend to sort of shrink inwards a little bit. Maybe due to gravity, inactivity, maybe arthritis. These exercises really help you to expand your sphere of function. We're gonna be doing them in all three directions. If you wanna have a hand on the chair as you reach back, that's completely fine like Ellie is. Hello, stomach muscles. Gradually work your way back to the center. Ah, can you reach a little farther? Really push yourself a little bit. This is the advanced version. You're doing great. One more. Beautiful. All right, let's practice our balance. 
going to have you stand on this leg, knee is slightly bent. Instead of tapping your toe, I'm going to have you swing your leg. Oh, that is really challenging. Be sure to have your hand on the chair. Lock your eyes onto a visual target, something that's not moving. That will help. Now practice, challenge yourself a little bit. See if you can have that hand just hovering over the chair. Fool around with it, goof around. Go fast, go slow. Play around a little bit. Level three, you can take a break here. Oh boy. Level four, let's just do a few more. These are harder than they look, aren't they? Last two. Very good, Alrighty. If you would please, stand on the other side of the chair. Let's put this leg forward. Again, not on a tightrope, off to the side a little bit. We'll do the reaching exercises on this side. Here we go, let's go at chest height to start, please. Reach. So now your arms are the spokes of a bicycle wheel. Let's pretend that you're one of those old fashioned bikes. Very small wheel in the back, big wheel in the front. It's called a penny farthing. Anyway, you're the big wheel and your spokes have to reach way out. The farther the reach, the better. Good. Excellent. These are just like doctor's order exercises. Gradually work your way up a little bit. Again, if that back heel comes up, A-OK. -okay. Strengthening so many muscles at once. You want to have a hand on the chair as you lean back? Completely fine. Do what's best for you, the whole workout. Up you go. Reach. Ah, you're doing it. You're doing so many good things for yourself. Very good. Just a couple more here. Bravo. Woo. Pick up your weights, please. We're going to do those forward lunges. If you don't want to use the weights for these lunges, you don't have to. But this is level three and four. It's the advanced version. We've taken it up a notch. All right, step forward with this foot, please. Again, you know the drill by now, right? You can pick your arm position. Whatever you're doing, it's great. As long as you're moving, you're grooving. Very good. All right, I'm gonna take a look at Ellie. Man, does she look good. Forward and back. You're strengthening your backside here as you lean forward and stretch out with those arms. I've got good news for level three. This is your last one. Level four, we're gonna do four more. But again, if you feel like you've had enough of these and you wanna take a break, always a good idea. Just a couple more here. Very nice. One more, please. Woo! Stand in front of your chair. We're gonna do those sit to stands again, but this time this foot's gonna be forward. Again, if you want a super challenge, weights are on your shoulders, a little easier to have them at your side. Have a seat, nice and slow. So seat this time, if you've done this exercise workout quite a few times, challenge yourself. Can you just barely touch your leg to the seat? Oh man, that is so hard. I think the pilots call it a touch and go, right? Huge challenge, only do what's right for you. Really strengthening your fall prevention muscles. Probably the most effective strength exercise we can do, right? All right, level three's got one more here. Ah, very good. Level three, you can take a breather. Level four, we'll just do a couple more. Down you go, sticking your fanny way back out behind you. That'll help protect your lower back. All right, one more to go. Yay! All right, good news. You can all stand up. We're finished with all the exercises going forward and back. Now we're gonna go side to side. So stand with your feet wide. Swing your arms side to side, please. Now easier with arms bent, a lot tougher with arms straight. Let your hips go along for the ride, really important. Let all your muscles work together. Thumbs are coming up at the top. Now let your right arm hang down and relax. The other arm swinging in front of your body and then that thumb comes up at the top. Very nice. Good, nice natural swing. Training our momentum on purpose. Good, alternate. Some very, very smart people helped me to design this video. I'm so happy I can share it with you. 
few more like this side to side. Ooh, these really add up, don't they? Let your left arm hang down and swing. Very good. Oh man, this is a long set. Just a few more for level three. Almost there. Level three, whoo, take a break. Cherie, let's go side to side, level four. Very nice, shoulders are down. Good, right arm hangs down, almost there. These add up in a jiffy. Yeehaw! All right, alternate, almost there, side to side. Good. Strengthening so many muscles all at once. Alternate, whoops, left arm hangs down. You know what to do, right? Last two, and take a little break. Good, roll shoulders. Next, Ellie's gonna do a side tilt. Like so, Cherie and I are gonna take our arm over to the side. There you go. All right, keep reaching, start off small, but if it feels good, really reach way over to the side. Nice, deep, even breaths with that weight overhead. Oh, these are great. Couple more for level three. Level three, time out for you. Level four, we'll just do a few more. Very good. Good, two more for level four. Very nice, take a break. All of us, last exercise in this side to side plane. You're reaching up to the corner of the ceiling in the wall. Again, watch the hips. They're going along for the ride. Everything is so intentional here. Level three, let's just do a few more. Woo! Man, these are good. Level three, you are gonna be glad to hear you're done with this. Ah, let those hips move. Very good. Level four, you're done as well. Stand in front of your chair. If you want, weights on shoulders, wide feet this time. Have a seat. Again, how slowly can you sit down? Oh my gosh, that makes a huge difference. Down you go, Fanny goes way back out behind you. Very good. Keep going, probably the best exercise you can possibly do, right? These sit to stands. I can't think of anything more practical or more important than to do fall prevention exercises, be able to get up off a chair. If you're ever in a real low, squishy couch or chair, remember the cue, nose over toes. Level three, you're done with this set. Good, level four, we're only gonna do a few more. Very good, and come up. One more for level four. We got this in the bag. Very good. All right, everyone stand up and stand over on the side of your chair. You're gonna step with this foot out to the side, foot will point, point to the front. Here we go, to the side, side. And up, that's it. You know the story here, right? Do as many of these as you want. We're gonna shoot for having level three, do about four more. But if you need to modify, absolutely fine. This is a very advanced workout. I'm proud of you for choosing to do it with us today. Just a couple more for level three. All right, Ellie, thank goodness you can take a break. Cherie, we're gonna go for a few more. Nice, standing up nice and tall. Very good. How about just two more? All right, last one. Nice. If you could put your weights on the chair, please. We're gonna practice our balance, but I'm gonna ask you to turn and face the side wall. Have a hand on the chair. Stand on your front leg. Your back leg's gonna rotate from about nine o'clock to three o'clock on a clock face. So try not touching your toe. Oh my gosh, that makes it so much more challenging. Arm is swinging the opposite direction. If you want, can you have that hand just sort of hovering on the chair? Now you're gonna see us having to tap our toe down quite a few times. This is challenging for us too. It's supposed to be. Level three, take a break. Man, this is a good one. Very good. And everyone, take a little break, nice. Stand behind your chair. 
I want you to imagine that you're standing under not just one rainbow, a double rainbow. Aren't you so excited when you see those in real life? So we got a double rainbow here to reach up. Now you've got a wall of rain in front of you. You can't get wet. Reach through that first rainbow all the way to the second rainbow. You've got to reach even farther over to the side. Gradually work your way back up to center. Good, reaching as far as humanly possible. Really reaching up. Very good. This is gonna make you so fit and vital doing these reaching exercises. Gradually work your way over to the other side. Feel all your muscles working together. Your body, mind, and spirit are loving this workout. Last time to this side, gradually work your way back up to the center. You're gonna love it. The more you do these reaching exercises, the better you'll be able to go. A few more like this. Good, reach up nice and high. You did it. Woo, that one's harder than it looks. Let's practice our balance standing this way, facing the side wall. Put your hand on the chair. Your back leg's gonna rotate, sort of from three o'clock to nine o'clock again. Want an extra challenge? Have that arm go the same direction. Oh man, this is a doozy. I hope you wanted a really good workout today. Strength and balance, all improving so much. Very good, keep going. If your leg gets tired though that you're standing on, of course, you know, it's okay to take a break. Level three, do take a break. Level four, let's just do a few more like this. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, pick up your weights if you would please. We're gonna do those side lunges. Again, you don't have to use the weights on this if you don't want to. If you'd like though, you're gonna step with this foot out to the side, foot points front. Let's give it a roll, out to the side and back. Good, doing a lot more repetitions in this workout, using heavier weights and adding some extra exercises. Really taking it up a notch. We'll do a few more side lunges. That's it. All right, Ellie, you're gonna like to hear this. You've only got one more. All right, Cherie and I, we're gonna go for four more. Oh, these are great. Working in all different directions. Forward, back, side to side, and rotating. Every single thing we do. All right, good news for everyone. We're done with those side lunges. Stand in front of your chair, please. Now, Cherie and I are gonna have our feet touching with this. Ellie's gonna have her feet narrow, but not all the way touching. This is a big balance challenge when you stand up, so keep that in mind. Have a seat slowly, make sure the chair is there. Good, and stand up, very good. So much more advanced to have your feet together. If that doesn't feel right for you though, modify all day long with these exercises. Again, can you just barely touch your bottom on the chair? Oh my gosh, that's not easy. You're doing so great. Very nice. All right, Ellie's gonna love me for saying this. Only one more for level three. Very good. All right, Cherie, hang in there with me. We'll do two more. Sticking your bottom way back behind you really protects your lower back. All right, just one more for level four. Woo-wee. All right, got good news for you. We finished the side to side exercises. Now we're gonna do the rotational exercises. Almost there. Do an uppercut with this arm. Go up and up. Check out our hips. They're moving, the heels coming up. Your whole body's working together. One beautiful chain reaction. Let's change it. Take your right arm behind you, please. Say hello to your stomach muscles. Working to slow this exercise down so you don't go all the way backwards. Really functional, really practical way to exercise. Ready for uppercuts? Uppercut, shorter set though. Level three, hang in there with us if you can. One more each side, right arm comes back. Rotate behind you, please. Good. 
All right. Level three, you can take a little breather here. Uppercuts, level four. Very good. Short set here, you got this. Right arm comes behind you. Oh, those stomach muscles love this. Such a functional, practical way to strengthen these muscles. Let's just do a couple more on each side. We'll call it a day with these. One more, please. All right, woo-hoo. Shake out your legs. Take your weights on your shoulders if you want. Again, you can follow Ellie. We're gonna sit down and stand up. This time your toes are pointed to the outside. You're externally rotating your hips a little. Have a seat. Again, can you challenge yourself? See how slowly you can sit down? Very nice, really strengthening your fall prevention muscles here. Those lower body muscles. Oh, these are so good. That's it, go all the way down. All right, on the next one, I'm gonna try really challenging myself. I'm gonna do that little touch and go. Just barely touch my legs to the seat of the chair. Oh, that is so hard. Level three, you've got one more. Ah, that's good. Level three, you're taking a break. Cherie, let's go for two more. Woo-wee, that's it. Just one more of these. There you go. Very nice. All right, everyone stand on the side of your chair. We're gonna do rotational lunges now. This foot is gonna point to the side wall. Almost there with these lunges. Again, pick the person you wanna follow, stick with them. Here we go, lunge, rotate your foot, off to the side. Very good. Now if you can't rotate exactly that far, it doesn't matter. Just rotate as much as you can today. You're gonna to notice that range of motion is gonna get bigger and bigger. So the reason we wanna work all these muscles together, your body's like one chain reaction. You know that song, the ankle bones connected to the knee bone? It's true. Level three, take a break. So whatever you do with one muscle affects all its other friends. And you want all your muscles to work together like buddies. That's how you function well without injuries. That's what we're working on here. Okay, that said, put your weights on the chair, please. Stand behind the chair, put on your superhero costume, your superman or superwoman, however that may be. You're gonna push forward with your hands so you have these incredible superpowers. You can push away all the evil in the world. So all the bad things and the sad things, you're just getting rid of them right now. But all the power comes from your hips. So the only way you can get rid of all that nasty stuff is to really let your hips rotate. Good, push as far as you can. Come on, the world's dependent on you here. Push harder. See if you can reach around behind the other side. This is also really good when you're driving to make it so you can look behind you when you're changing lanes so you can avoid that semi truck coming down that other lane, right? Reach behind you, gradually work your way back towards the middle. All right, good news. Because you used your hips and you pushed so hard, you got rid of all the bad stuff in the world. Only hope and peace and joy are left. Woo! That's a big accomplishment. All right, let's practice our balance on this side. Stand on your front leg. Be sure to have a hand on the chair. I think this is the most challenging plane of motion, the rotating. Take your back leg, rotate it all the way around to the front and the back. Arms swinging the opposite way. If you can, try not to touch your toe. You're gonna see us tapping our toe down quite often. That's good, we're training our bodies sort of early warning system because you need to be able to regain your balance instantly without even thinking about it in real life. So we practice everything moving. All right, Ellie, your front leg's gonna be glad to hear. You can take a break. Cherie, let's just do a few more. Very nice. Ah, let's all try that balance on the other side. Again, face the side wall, take that back leg, Want it even tougher? Oh, why not? Take your arms swinging the same way. 
Very good. If you have to touch your toe down, that's a good sign. That proves that you really are challenging your balance. Balance is like any other skill. It's use it or lose it. Kids are always practicing their balance, right? As we get older, we're afraid to fall and we are reluctant to keep challenging it. This is a really good, safe way to challenge your balance and really improve it. All right, Ellie, you don't have to challenge your balance anymore. Level four, we'll just do a couple more. Ah, I love this stuff. Pick up your weights, please. We've only got one more exercise. We'll do the rotational lunges. This foot points out to the side wall. There you go. And up. Round. Good. You'll be happy to know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And it's not the oncoming train. We're almost done. Down you go. You're doing so well. Stuck out this entire workout. It's a doozy. You should be really proud of yourself. Level three, you're done. Level four, we've only got four more. Almost there, that's it. All righty, two more to go. Very nice. One more, and let's all put our weights on the chair. So find a wall and stand next to the wall we're gonna do a series of push-ups now, a little bit different for level three and level four. I'm gonna ask you to put your hands on the wall about shoulder width and shoulder height. Level three, stand a little closer to the wall. Level four, stand a lot farther away from the wall. All right, let's try it. Bend your elbows. Good, try breathing out as you come back. Excellent. These push-ups are so great for upper body strength. Very nice. Just one more for level three. Level four, let's see if we can do just two more. Good. And come on up. Very nice. Let's all take a little break. Roll your wrists any old way you want. Take your front hand a little higher, back hand a little lower. Let's go, bend your elbows. Nice. Very good, so we're changing the hand position every time. As you may have guessed, this is intentional. All applied functional science. Level three, you're done with this. Level four, we've got two more. Very good. And last one. Ooh, a break sounds like a good idea. Move those wrists. Other hands a little higher. Other hands a little lower. Let's go. Very good. So if this is too easy, stand a little farther away from the wall. You're gonna find as you practice these, you're gonna get stronger and stronger. What a great feeling that is. Level three, you can take a small time out. Level four, we'll do a couple more. Very good. And let's all take a little break. Just two more sets, we're almost there. A lot more repetitions in this more advanced. Hands are wide now, as wide as you can. Chest goes down, try to keep your body nice and straight. Very good. You're gonna feel these push-ups in different areas as you change your hand position. That's a good thing. Level three, you knew I'd say this, right? Take a break. Good. All right, level four, you are done too. Oh boy, just one more set of push-ups. This time your hands are gonna be narrow. Thumbs are touching about shoulder height again. This one's a doozy. Bend your elbows and straighten them, good. You might feel a little more work going on the back of your upper arm. If it's too hard though, stand a little closer to the wall. I know these are challenging. Level three, you're gonna love this. You're done, level two, four. Just a couple more. Very good, all right. Great news for everyone. We are done with the strength and balance section. I really encourage you to join us for the stretch. You're gonna love it. We'll see you there. I'm so glad you made time to stretch with us today. These applied functional science stretches are probably the best thing you can do to prevent future injuries. Plus, they're just gonna make you feel great. So I'm gonna ask you to start off today by putting your foot forward, 
but don't put it right in front of the other one. Have some width between your feet again. Ellie's going to keep one hand on the chair the entire time. She's still going to get the same beautiful benefits. Reach back as far as you can, and then forward as far as you can. Now feel free to go at your own tempo with these stretches, just like everything else in the workout. You don't have to follow us exactly. As long as you're moving, you're getting such amazing benefits. Hold your arms up here. Now just gently let your arms drift side to side. With this one, I like to kind of imagine that my arms are real supple branches to a tree that's just kind of blowing in a gentle little breeze. Side to side. Oh, this is so good. Take your arms down a little bit and then rotate around about shoulder height. See how far around you can go. If you keep looking straight ahead, you'll get some nice rotation in that cervical spine in your neck, or you can look behind you if you want. Whatever you do, it's great. Very nice. All right, let's do those same wonderful stretches on the other side of the chair. So again, when you put your foot forward, make sure it's not right in front of the other one. That would be too hard to balance. We're not challenging our balance here. We're, this is like dessert. All right, stretch forward. Nice, easy stretch. Come up behind you as far as you can. If you feel more comfortable, though, with a hand on the chair, you're still going to get the same wonderful 3D stretches, stretching in all different planes of motion. How about just one more like this? Ah. Let your arms stay up and then drift over again to the side. Again, you don't have to follow us exactly. The point is just to move your body in these three very distinct directions, getting as full range of motion as you can. Let's gradually take our arms a little bit lower. Nice. Now you can either look behind your shoulder if you want, or keep looking straight ahead. If you get dizzy, you might be happier just looking straight ahead. This should feel great. I like to imagine that my arms are kind of swooshing through water. If it's freezing cold outside, it can be warm water. If it's hotter than the Dickens outside, it can be nice cold water. All right, I'm gonna ask you to stand behind your chair, please. Stand pretty close to the chair. Have your hands on the top of the chair. Take your foot back, but take a look at that foot. I guarantee you it's gonna to wanna to turn out to the side. I'm gonna ask you turn it in so it's almost pigeon-toed. Now push your front knee forward, keep your back heel on the ground, and you're gonna feel a luscious stretch in that calf on the back leg. Very nice. Stretching out forward and back now, your calf should be saying, thank you, thank you. You notice we're stretching while we're moving though. It's very intentional. Keep your knee forward, and now let your hips go side to side. There you go. Now we're stretching out that same calf in that side to side plane, a little bit different maybe than you're used to. Now rotate your hips. Now we're getting that rotational plane. Want a fancy word? We're using the transverse plane now to stretch out our back calf. Very good. This should feel really fabulous. All right, let's give that other calf equal time. I think it's saying, me too, me too. This knee, front knee stays pretty close to the chair. Body's nice and tall. Uh-oh, check that back foot though. It's gonna wanna turn out to the side, but you'll get a lot better stretch, a lot more effective if it's almost pigeon-toed, turned in a little bit. So you wanna think about your muscles as kind of like a rubber band. When you lengthen a rubber band, it's storing energy, right? And then when it shortens, it contracts. That's how it produces force. Same thing with your muscles. So you want that muscle to practice moving, lengthening to store energy, and then contracting to produce force. Keep this knee forward, please, and let your hips go side to side. Very good. Stretching in all three planes of motion, front, back, side to side, rotating all day long. Your muscles are constructed in three different planes of motion, so it makes sense to stretch them. That being said, let's rotate the hips a little bit. Now you can either circle your hips here or rotate them. Doesn't matter. It's all so good. 
let's just do a couple more. All right, very nice. Your calves are saying thank you. I'm gonna ask you to stand on this side of the chair, please. Put your weight on this leg. Put this leg forward. If you can, lift up these toes. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Keep your shoulders back as you dip your torso down and up. So back to that rubber band thing. That's the reason that we stretch while we're moving with applied functional science, because in real life, your bodies, your muscles are constantly needing to lengthen so they can store energy and then contract so they can do the things for you that you wanna do. There's not many times in real life when you need to have a muscle lengthened stationary and holding it. So we try to emulate what you do in real life as much as possible. Next time your torso is low, hold it low please, shoulders are back, and let your foot kind of wave side to side, kind of like a little windshield wiper action. Good, very nice. All right, hold center, take your hand and put it on the chair, rotate your torso as much as you can so you're facing that side wall, keeping your shoulders back, dip that torso down and up. You might feel a slightly different area getting stretched, that's fine. Whatever you're feeling, believe me, it's right. Down and up, good. How about just one more like this? Now take your hand off the chair, let's rotate the other way. This time your torso is facing this other side wall, down and up. Might feel a little more stretch here, a-okay. If this feels more like a strain though, when you're not having much fun, if you drop that toe, it's a lot easier. So again, don't ever push these stretches, just do what feels great for you. All right, back the legs, calves are very happy. Let's stretch out these muscles right here. I'm gonna ask you to put this foot back. Again, take a peek. I guarantee you that foot's gonna to wanna to cheat out and go to the side. Turn it in a little bit, and then push your front knee forward, but let, let your back heel come up. It's okay to try to keep that leg somewhat straight, that back leg. You should feel a great stretch in these muscles here that connect your thigh to your trunk. So obviously we're going forward and back now. Do the same thing but take your arm over both ears. Oh, now you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. You should feel a fabulous stretch. These muscles are called your hip flexor muscles, and they're very powerful, but if you sit too much, they get really tight. Do the same reach, but at about shoulder height, and look behind your shoulder. And when these muscles get tight, oh my goodness, they can cause knee problems, low back problems, rotator cuff problems. One of the best things you can do is this stretch here for injury prevention. Very nice, all right. That side's feeling dandy. Stand behind your chair, please. I'm gonna ask you to stand and walk your feet back enough so that you're sort of at a right angle with your legs and your trunk. Take a deep breath in, let your chest come up a little bit. When you breathe out, let your chest come down. Good, breathe in, chest comes up, and exhale down. Now if you've done yoga, you'll probably recognize this as a nice modified downward dog position. It's so wonderful because you get the, your back of your legs and your calves and your upper body. Good, let's go one more like this. Breathe in in a little bit, chest comes down as you come up. Hold your chest down. Now, slowly <laughs> wag your tail. Really pray that your neighbors aren't peeking in the window right now. But if you're all by yourself, you're gonna feel a great stretch in the back of your right leg and left leg as you go side to side. This one feels so great. Hold center, please. Now let your right armpit come down as you look up to the left. Keep both hands on the chair here. Gradually rotate the other way. You should feel just an amazingly great stretch. Keep rotating at your own pace, along your arms, along your side. Talk about a multitasker stretch. This one's a doozy. All right, somehow work your way back up to behind the chair. Stand with your feet really wide. I'm gonna ask you to shift your weight from side to side. If your feet are wide enough, you'll feel a really beautiful stretch in your inner thighs here. Again, moving, 
Letting those muscles practice like that rubber band, stretching, lengthening, and shortening. Next time this knee is bent though, hold it bent, keep it here, take that same arm and let your hips go forward and back as your arm swings up and down. Good, you should feel a good stretch in the right inner thigh here. Next time your arm is up, hold it up please. And then again, just let it drift over to the side and drift over. Our rubber bands are getting so supple and flexible. Keep reaching, but take your arm about shoulder height and reach around the corner. Very good. Maybe we'll just do a couple more like this. Good. All right, let's go back to shifting our weight from side to side. So shift over to the side and keep shifting. All right, this inner, inner thigh is feeling pretty dandy. This one's saying, how about me? Next time this knee is bent, hold it bent and take that same arm. Again, you could go at any pace you want. If you wanna go slower, you wanna go faster, that's fine. Whatever feels great for you. Your body will benefit so much as you move, as you stretch. Next time your arm is up, though, hold it up, please. Let's do that wonderful side to side. Ah, I hope you're feeling great at home. You're doing such good things for your body right here from head to toe. Keep reaching, please. And then rotate around. Ah, very good. Maybe just a couple more like this. Very nice. All right, somehow get your feet back up to center. It's always good to shaky shaky. Let's do those same two stretches on this side of the chair. Stand on this leg. This toe is lifted, standing nice and tall. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep those shoulders back as your torso dips down and up. Now again, if this is too much with your toe lifted, more like a strain rather than a stretch, you can always just let that toe drop down completely great. You might feel this in the back of your leg, back of your calf, it's all good. Wherever you're feeling it, that's where you're needing it. Getting that rubber band nice and loose. Next time your torso is low though, hold it down please. Let's go side to side with your foot. Good, stretching out the back of your leg and your calf in the side to side plane, that frontal plane, another fancy term. All right, hold center. Put this hand on the chair. Rotate your torso as much as you can this way. Keeping your shoulders back, try dipping your torso down and up here. Very good. So I really wanna prepare your muscles to be lengthened in any direction because who knows what's gonna to happen tomorrow afternoon when you go outside. So I'm really trying to cover all the bases here, to keep you injury free. All right, take your hand off the chair. Again, try to rotate the other way. That's it, down and up. I'm feeling this a little bit more in my outer thigh. Who knows where you're feeling it? I hope you're enjoying it. This is such good stuff. And good, come on back. Let's stretch out these muscles here. So take that foot back one more time. Take a peek, turn it in so it's pigeon toed. There you go, let's push that knee forward. So I like to think of flexibility as sort of being the cornerstone of fitness. If these muscles aren't long enough to be able to lengthen and contract, nothing else really good can happen. So keep doing these stretches as much as you can. With this stretch, remember your back heel is coming up. That back leg is staying more or less straight. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, our Sherard. Take that arm and go over your ears. Oh, man, this is the money stretch, right? This one is so good for you. If you sit a lot, like we all do, these muscles get really tight and they can wreak havoc up and down the body. This is such a wonderful stretch. With that in mind, let's rotate a little bit, coming around behind you. Let's just do a couple more, wrap things up here. Getting a beautiful stretch. Very nice. All right, stand up tall. I've got great news for you. You are done with a workout today. 
I'd like to thank my wonderful backup babes, Ellie and Cherie. Honest to goodness, I could not have done this without them. They are the most amazing people. But you know what? Most of all, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. You should be so proud of yourself. We'll see you next time.